Hey guys, it's Tiff back, and this is a new series, maybe? I don't know, but I submitted a poll on the, in, on the YouTube communities where you could vote on what you wanted me to use in my next video. And so out of the four options, this one had 33 votes, so this is the one that I'm going to use today. And I'm using my cardboard, recycled cardboard journal that I call the Tall and Skinny which is something that I'm not, I'm not tall and I ain't skinny, so maybe I'm living vicariously through this cardboard journal, who knows, as I digress, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue down some of that handwriting written vintage papers, and I immediately got this feeling that I needed to put some paint. So I am not a rules kind of girl, and so I don't really follow a really hard set process. If my gut tells me to go and throw paint down and then come back and glue some more collage materials, well, that's what I do. I don't really question it, and I don't really think about what's next. I just go with what feels good. And so immediately after I did the brayering and then I went back and I felt like I saw that little peach um, new pastel beside my paint over there. And so I grabbed it and I just made some marks. And it's just kind of igniting what I call the energy within the page. And it just kind of tells me what needs that gut the gut feeling tells me what I need to do next. And as you saw, I came back and I put down some more collage materials. And then the Folgers Instant Coffee. So, no, I'm not sponsored by Folgers. And no, the Instant Coffee, if you do this technique, doesn't have to be Folgers. And it doesn't have to be in these little individuals. But because I taught a workshop recently, I had some of these small... Um, serving and God forbid no I don't drink instant coffee no no can't do it sorry if you drink coffee and it's instant well you go but that's not a tip thing and I'm grabbing that photo and I'm adding that coffee to the photo okay and so it's really not a process it's just like it makes your journal smell like coffee which is delicious but it also gives a very good sepia tone that goes well with like a vintage um look so the little particles or whatever you call it that you put down the little granulars they kind of create like little dots of darker and lighter variations of the color which i think is really cool and then i'm going in with that brayer with the water and the instant coffee and i'm just moving very quickly so my suggestion is if you get in a place where you're feeling stuck and like you're start questioning yourself, go really quick. That's why I am a supporter of the timer because it makes you move quicker and it makes you think less. And art should not be stressful in Tiffany's book. So I'm going in here with some, I believe, oh Lord, I don't even know y'all some chalk paint <laughs> and I love the colors like the brown and the richness in that bronze um, liquid ink stuff pH Martin maybe I can't remember heavens to Betsy I don't know why y'all watch me anyway so I'm going in here because I wanted to warm it up with this nice mustardy um new pastel and I just have like a little giblet of it that's why it's so small and you can't really see it and I'm just kind of moving that around the page and I'm I'm really like this is sped up for y'all so y'all don't have to watch me like a hundred thousand minutes but this is I'm really moving like I am getting down to it you see that little tap I'm going so I'm not thinking I'm just going with the gut just making it move quickly 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 and then I'm tearing off part of that um, photo so on the back of this photo it said that Billy Bob and I really think his name was Billy Bob y'all um Billy Bob was three years old in this picture and she was so proud of that so she wrote it on the back and I wanted to capture that as well as save this 1927 little giblet of handwriting on the back 
so the the black and white polka dots it doesn't really make any sense although it makes me happy so if it makes me happy it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else so i'm gluing down with the uhu glue stick because that's my preferred method hey glue who you who glue stick people you should totally hook your girl up because i go through that stuff i buy it on amazon the links down below and i buy it by the 12 pack and we ain't talking about alcohol people we just talking about the glue stick Okay, Lord have mercy. I'm such a nut job. And then I'm going to add some masking tape right there because my masking tape is cool. Hello. And then I'm just going to stick that little polka dot right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Love it. And then I have this word paper. And someone somewhere sent me this word paper. And I have hoarded it because I love it so good. And I thought that I ran out, and then I found some more in the hoard pile in my little drawer. And so, I ended up cutting out, and to be quite honest, I can't even remember what it said now. Hmm. That's how it happens. I'm in another room doing the voiceover. You see how that works? And then you leave the other paper, and then you can't remember, and then that's my life. And now I'm just tearing up a little bit of, it said she did her best. That's what it said. I had to look at the picture. And I'm gluing down a little bit more of that black and white washi paper tape. I don't really even know where it came from. Probably Tuesday morning or one of you fine souls sent it to me. And because, well, I just love to slap it and splat it. I'm just going to splat some of that Lyra Graphite water soluble pencil which you can also find the link to many of the things that i use down in the amazon links and if you use that it hooks your sister up right here and i'm doing a little dance for y'all that y'all can't really see bless your heart and i'm just moving that black and dark sooty um color around and like i was saying if you use the amazon link it helps me because i get a small commission out of it and it gives me money to buy art supplies and show you guys how to use them how to use them me hmm probably not but at least you get to enjoy it and tiffany um gets like a very small amount of money for it <laughs> Okay, all right, moving right along. I am going to dry this bad boy because I have put this poor paper bag that was in this journal through the ringer, bless its heart. It's a little bit crickly now, which I really like, and I'm scribbling and scratching around with that old number two because it's fun and I like how it makes it look extra messy. And then I'm going in with the white china marker because I don't really know why. I just wanted to make some more scribbles, I guess. So, wow, I can talk fast for a Southern gal. And now you can see, make sure you stay tuned to the pictures at the very end of this to see what it looked like all up and close. And if this is your first time joining me, where the heck have you been, honey? Click that subscribe. -doo 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 -doo. Ha -ha. Click that subscribe button. Leave me a comment and tell your girl what you'd like to see on the next video. And until next time, toodaloo!